what is going on welcome back to the channel in this video we're now upgrading the newly released Porsche 911 Turbo S so this is a 2023 model it's available in this week's festival playlist but instead of actually being a reward for getting 40 points like a lot of the cars are this one's available by completing a championship if you want to see that video click the right hand corner of the screen but getting into upgrading the car so straight onto the conversions, in the engine swaps you only have two options for this one. So you have the 3.8 litre flat 6 twin turbo and then the 4.6 litre V8 hybrid. I'm going to go with the standard engine for this because that hybrid engine I have used that for all the other Porsche builds to be fair. So we'll keep it standard and then I may do another video later on in the future. Getting into the body kits on the car. So as you can see we've got a couple of different options. Brabus and Maxton design and a couple of Porsche options. As you can probably tell I'm going with the Brabus kit for this one to be fair. I'm not really keen on the Maxton design stuff but yeah Brabus. I do like that stuff. Getting into the tyres now, we're just going to put the slick racing tyre compound on it and then we're putting the widest tyres that we can on the front and the rear. Once I've put the widest tyres that I can on the front and the rear, I'm then going to move on to the track width and the same again, I'm going to put the widest that I can on the front and the rear. And then moving on to the actual rim style, so I'm going to go with the wedge sports for this car just because they're like my go-to wheel almost. They're one of the lightest wheels in the game and they look all right. So we're going to put them on it. And now moving on to the rim size. As you can see, we can only change the size of the front rim. So I'm just going to leave them standard. Now that that's the wheels all done, we're moving on to the drivetrain. So we can put the racing clutch, transmission and driveline in it. And then for the diff, again, we're going for the racing version. I'm surprised that there is all these options available for it, to be fair. Moving on to the platform and handling. So we can put on the racing springs and dampers, the racing anti-roll bars front and rear, the racing weight reduction. And then on the roll cage, I'm just putting the street one on because I don't like the full cage in the car. Then moving on to upgrading the engine. We're just fully upgrading everything here. But with the turbos, we're not putting the anti slug turbos on it. We're just putting the normal ones on it. I'm surprised at how much power this car made, to be fair, because it only made like 900 horsepower. It was high 900 but I don't think it broke a thousand which is quite surprising because in real life this is a very tunable platform. Once we get the car fully upgraded we can then move on to painting it and see what colours this car comes with in the game. Okay, so getting into painting the car, there's quite a few factory options to be fair. I believe this pink might be a special colour from the factory in real life, but I'm not 100% sure. Surprisingly, there's not any Riviera blue, which, like I say, is quite surprising, but I'm going to paint it that colour, so I'm going to go on the manual paint and paint it like a baby blue colour. I'm also going to paint the calipers the same colour as well. Okay, now that we've finished painting the car, I'm just quickly going to go into the tuning setup and lower the car to the lowest possible setting. And then once we've done that, we can take it for a drive and see what it's like.
Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to leave any comments below on any build videos you'd like to see. And be sure to check in on the next video. I'll see you there.